One of the biggest challenges for pursuing a master's or PhD in the US or Canada is the money. But the good news is that a lot of time you don't have to pay that money out of your pocket. There are scholarships, there are fellowships, there are teaching and research assistantships. In this video, we would like to talk about the ways that you can find supervisors with funding. Now we know that some universities require you to find a potential supervisor, some just recommend, but the best way is just go for it and find supervisors. But the problem here is that uh, a lot of time, if you're in the process, you have seen that you email professors and they get back to you and they say, sorry, I don't have any funding. Now, in this case, there are two possibilities. The first is that they actually don't have any funding. And the second is that they want to be really polite and do not just reject you and say, well, I don't want you. They just say, I don't have funding. But even if there is, it's the fair first case, even if they don't have funding, uh, you have wasted some of your time preparing and drafting that perfect email for that professor. Now, if you already know which professors might have funding, then you are going to save a lot of time and then you're going to spend that extra time to draft better emails. So stay tuned and see how we can find supervisors with funding in the US. So we start with the US right now. These are only some of major funding agencies in the US and uh, these are mostly health science related. Uh, however, today we're only going to look at National Science Foundation here, which is nsf.gov in the award search. I'm going to put the link in the uh, comments section. And here, uh, when you search for your keyword, uh, a lot of things are going to come up. Uh, and this keyword is your research interest. For example, the keywords on your um, papers, uh, the keywords in your master's thesis or your bachelor's work. For example, machine learning. Um, you can put like very broad, like major names like uh, civil engineering or computer science, but uh, the results are going to be too broad. Even for this, there are so many results. You can say like there are so many results. So you can make it as a specific as your research possibly is and uh, try to find the perfect match. Now, if we only look at this first one, it's a machine learning based uh, computational framework for largest scale stochastic programming. Okay, let's see the details. The start date is June 1st, 2020. So it's perfect, it just started. The end date is uh, 2022, May 31st. It's about $200,000 and the principal investigator is Dr. Dong at Texas State University. So if you read the description and you think that this is a good match between your background and your research and what you would like to do, it might be a perfect idea. It might be a great idea to just uh, write a great email, write a very, very good email. This is an important part and we're going to make a video just to how to, how to write an email later. But you write an email to this Dr. Dong and say, well, I'm really interested to do uh, this project or a project like this. Okay, and here is why. So this is how you can find your uh, supervisor, your potential supervisor on NSF. And uh, next, we'll look at Canada. In Canada, there are three major funding agencies, and these are public funding agencies. There are private funding agencies as well, and there are probably other public funding agencies. But these ones are the major ones. For engineering and natural sciences, there is NSERC. For humanities, there is SSHRC. And for health sciences, there is CIHR. Okay, and let's go to NSERC. And you can, again, search the same way that you did uh, on NSF. If you know the name of the person, you can put in here, but obviously we're looking for professors, so we don't know the, the name. And we put our research interest, which is here again, machine learning here in the keyword section. We can filter by university if we are interested in a specific university. 
and uh, we can also uh, filter by province if you're interested in a specific province area of application research subject and uh, we can also like change the fiscal year or competition year we want it to be as recent as possible so we go ahead and look at the results uh, there are different amounts and there are different fiscal months. no all of them are like for last year and for example this one is uh, $245,000 uh, it's about air resilience machine learning systems and it's at the University of British Columbia by Dr. Uh, Amot, Tor Amot. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's Amot. But um, anyway, if you read the description again and you think this is a good idea for you, just go ahead for it and just Google that person. I'm sure he's going to come up and um, you can email him or her. Okay, next is the humanities, SSHRC, and we go there. The, the setup is almost the same. You can filter by different criteria. You can, there, there are some research areas that they have already suggested. Say, uh, we say like economic and regional development, and we can filter the amounts. We can uh, also uh, do, um, um, filter by like a specific keyword or research interest that we put in but here again the same thing there are amounts there are fiscal years or program code and there are like main applicants universities we you go through all these and you see like which one you're more interested in if you think this is not this is too many results which is too many results actually you go back and uh, like make your research more specific and this is how you can find the professors in a better way. But um, just for example, like this one, innovative biometrics, hermode, I don't know, it's membrane design. <laughs> it's a hard thing. But at the University of Saskatchewan, and this is the name of the applicant. So you can just Google this person and uh, try to see like if um, if this uh, if this research is good for you, you can email them. Coming back, the third one is CIHR. I'm, go I'm going to put all these links in the descriptions of the video. And then you can also, like in the health science, also you can search. Um, the first thing comes to my mind is COVID-19 right now. And you run the search. And yeah, obviously there are not too many things about this right now uh, yet. But uh, there is one, which is a project at... Uh, um, by Dr. Davidson or Davison uh, at KPU at BC in in the BC, in uh, British Columbia, and then there's uh, again the abstract and all the information you might possibly need. So this is a why. Remember that this is the this is a, a, a second way. It's actually a first way, I guess, to find supervisor. It's a better way to find supervisor initially. If you can find your it can if you cannot find your supervisor this way then you should probably like go to universities like one by one. But we do this because there are too many universities. There are 200 universities in the US. There are like 35 universities. These are good universities. There are actually more universities. But 200, 250 very good universities in the US, like 30, 35 good universities in Canada. And uh, if the, the good, the, like the ultimate way is to go to each of these universities website, go to the faculty and staff and look at the professors. But this way, uh, we can save some time and we might be able to uh, like uh, spend that time to write better emails. So if this video helps, uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up and um, subscribe to our channel and let us know what videos we can make uh, to help you better with your uh, graduate school application. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of the day.